Hi, my name is Alex Jules. I'm with the Fellowship of Free Thought. I'm here at Skepticon 4. Now, given that Thanksgiving is right around the corner, I get to be thankful for, as being a non-theist, um, the food I eat, the farmers that help uh, cultivate it, and transportation that got it there to me, um, the medicine, vaccinations for my family, my kids. Uh, I'm thankful for a job in time of unemployment, etc. But, you know, the greater question for a larger non-theistic um, community is, what are they thankful for, given that none of us believe in God? Uh, hi, I'm Rebecca Watson. I'm from the internet. And I am thankful for, let's see, um, video games, my cats, uh, and, and tons of awesome skeptics and atheists who I'm hanging out with right now, actually. My name is Amy O'Hare. And I'm Andy O'Hare. And we're from Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm thankful for my family, my kids, and having a secure job and a roof over my head. Yeah, thankful for our family and a uh, chance to come here and meet new interesting people and uh, have a great time. My name is Sarah Molia. I am from Columbus, Ohio, and I am thankful for the world. It, I just think about every day about how fantastic it is that we have things like canyons and mountains and oceans and rivers. And it sounds so stupid, but it's also cool that it all comes together. Or we have animals that are just completely diverse and they do all sorts of fun things. And I sound like such an, a loser, but it's so cool to think about. Um, I'm also just thankful for people that are so kind and helpful and generous and the fact that we evolved from single-celled organisms and we are now this thriving society that helps people and does cool things. Um, and I just love it. And of course science that allows us to make technology to film things and amplify my voice so someone in the future can hear it. Hi, I'm from the past. Um, and I just think it's all so cool. So I'm thankful for all of it. Uh, my name is Conrad Hudson. I'm from Lawrence, Kansas, and the KU Society of Open-Minded Atheists and Agnostics. Um, and I'm thankful for community, for organizations uh, like student groups and the organizations that support them, like the Secular Student Alliance, um, that allow us to gather together and to spend time uh, with people that we enjoy. That's what I'm thankful for. Hi, I'm Surly Amy from Skeptic.org and SurlyRamix.com. And I think I'm probably most thankful for all of my friends and for my family and for all the wonderful people that have supported me and purchased my art because it allows me to do what I really want to do. And I think that I give back to the community by making the art. At least I hope that I do because I hope to encourage people to learn more about science and skepticism. And I hope my art is a little bit of a gateway drug into doing that. So thanks everyone. Have a happy holiday season. Hi, I'm Christina from Forsyth, Missouri, and I'm definitely thankful for Skepticon, where I have a group of people I can get together with and not feel like a freak. Uh, my name is uh, Stephen Williams. I'm from here in Springfield, Missouri. I'm with Born of Him Ministries. And uh, for Thanksgiving, I am definitely thankful for uh, uh, Christ, who, uh, who uh, saved me uh, through uh, the death on the cross. And uh, it's a free gift for all who uh, repent and put their trust in Jesus Christ. And again, uh, I'm uh, thankful for the every breath that I have taken, and um, that's all. That's all I'm going to say. Hi, I'm Aaron Ra. I'm from Dallas, and what I'm thankful for. I'm, I'm not one of those guys that covets what other people have that I want. I'm one of those guys that looks at the burdens that other people have to bear, and I'm thankful I don't have those. I have a lot going good for me, and I wouldn't wish any more if it meant that I'd had to lose what I already have, and I'm, I'm happy to be there. My name is uh, West Ruffin, and I am from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I think the, probably the biggest thing I'm thankful for is the internet and medicine. <laughs> My name is Cindy Cooper. I'm also from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I'm the same way. I am most thankful for the internet. It opens minds. Hi, Jay Bundick. Um, live just south of Dallas now. I'm thankful to be back in the United States after a little over 10 years overseas um, so I can see my family on this side. I'm thankful for the very fact that I'm alive. Um, the, I, the chances of me having been born 
are astronomically unlikely. You know, the odds that that particular sperm and that particular egg happened to meet at that particular time, and then that 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 then you multiply that by the odds that my parents got born, that their parents got born, and their parents. I am it, the the chances of me existing at all are beyond astronomical and I am just incredibly fortunate to even be alive at all so I'm very thankful for that. Uh, my name is Cecil Daniel I'm from Kansas City Missouri uh, what am I thankful for? Well uh, at the very least I'm thankful for being alive uh, for be, have a job right now and then be paid that'd be that's nice. I'm um, also thankful for the friends I have the family that I have um, and the opportunity to get to meet a lot of people, like here at Skepticon. The uh, reason why I'm here is because I I got to know the free, the free thought. Um, I got to know the founders uh, over the last few years as I went to the same college as they did, and I'm amazed how big has gotten. But but beyond beyond this place, uh, I'm glad to get to know a lot of people. I'm thankful for the opportunity to get to meet new people each and every day and have new experiences and to. Um, well, I guess enlarge my mind one way or another each and every day. My name is Hannah Messinger. I'm the president of the University of Chicago Secular Alliance. And I am thankful for people who care, people who have passions, people who act on their passions, people who are willing to organize conferences and come to them and create subcultures and groups of people who all care about the same things so they can deepen their love of the things that make life meaningful. Those are the people I want to spend all of my time with, and those are the people I am so grateful exist in this world. My name is Gary Betch, and I work with EvolveFish.com in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm thankful for the fact that we still have a modicum of freedom in this country. It hasn't all been taken away from us yet, and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to continue to fight for it and, and make it a better and a freer country in the future. I'm Carrie. I'm the tour manager for Sam Singleton Atheist Evangelist, and I am thankful for the trees. Me and the Lorax. My name is Amanda Brown, and I am from basically Kansas City, Missouri. I am thankful for my family who has been very understanding, and I am thankful for the ability to do everything that I do when it comes to being involved in the atheist movement. And I am also thankful for living in this country and being able to do what I do here. Um, and also for people being willing to give as well. I'm thankful to be able to help other people this holiday season rather than be selfish and just eat a lot of food. Uh, I'm Hemant Mehta, I'm from Chicago, and I'm thankful that I have good students in the classroom this year, good friends, good family. Hi, I'm Gina, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I go to Kennesaw State University, and I'm grateful for gr groups like the Secular Student Alliance and Center for Inquiry. They do a bunch of conferences for us student leaders, and I'm grateful because I've met some really amazing people. I'm Joe Nickel, I'm from Skeptical Inquirer Science Magazine. I'm thankful to be here in Springfield. I'm just thankful to be in Springfield. Of course, as you get older, you're thankful to be anywhere. But it's good to be in Springfield with all these skeptics, and I'm going to have a great time here. I'm very thankful that God decided to postpone the rapture this year because, as it is, I don't have everything ready to uh, be taking up in the rapture. In fact, I think I need some more time to develop a relationship with him. So I'm very glad that he decided to delay this year, and maybe he'll do it next year in 2012, but we'll see. I'm Carly Johnston from the Joplin Freethinkers, and I'm thankful for John Wayne for inventing the word we're goddamn ridiculous. Uh, my name is Ed Brayton. I'm from Michigan. Uh, I'm the owner of the Free Thought Blogs uh, Network that some of your members are probably familiar with. Uh, I'm actually, this is gonna sound weird, I'm thankful that I lost my job this week. Um, and not very many people can say that, I'm sure, but. Um, it allows me the opportunity to uh, bring a bunch of projects I've had kind of on the back burner and bring them up to the front and start working on them because I'll have time to do that again. So it uh, seems an odd thing to be thankful for, but I actually am. Uh, my name is Bart. I'm from Conway, Arkansas. Um, I'm thankful for uh, all of the people throughout the centuries that have made discoveries, scientific discoveries, all the knowledge that has been built up for the human race over time, stuff that allows us to have great medical technology now so that we can live longer and uh, you know things like clean water and all that sort of stuff. All of that stuff is built on the backs of thousands and thousands of people, uh, millions of people that have uh, came before us. And uh, I think it's important to remember that, uh, that uh, you know, when we're, we're wanting to be thankful for stuff, we should be thankful for all of those people who came before. 
I'm Daryl Ray, I'm from the Kansas City area, and I'm most thankful that I finally figured out that there is no God. My name is Brandon Christian, I'm from Warrensburg, Missouri, and I'll be honest, I'm most thankful for my lovely girlfriend, Tara. She makes sunrises matter. So uh, going into Thanksgiving, that's who I'm thinking about. Do I, can I, can I explain my answer? All right. So first of all, I think a lot of this business of asking if you're thankful for something is an attempt to force people to anthropomorphize the universe. And I am not thankful to the universe. The universe is not going to express any gratitude back. Uh, but there are lots of things I like. I like. I like being alive. I like existence. I like squid. I like fish. I like, I like my wife. I like my kids. So of course there's lots of things I like. But I'm not giving credit to the universe. I'm <laughs> Jen McCrite. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Um, and I'm most thankful that I'm living here now. Um, as an outspoken person who's really outspoken about things like atheism and feminism and science, uh, my life wouldn't have been so happy if I was living 100 years ago. Um, especially as a woman, I wouldn't have been able to speak out about these kind of things. I wouldn't have been able to become a scientist, probably. Um, and I live in a day and age where I can get on the internet and blog about whatever I want and people can give feedback to me and not worry that I'm going to get killed or ostracized from my beliefs entirely. So the internet and the future and the now, that's what I'd be most thankful for. <laughs> Damien Reinhardt, Oklahoma City. I am thankful for gatherings of science-minded people who hang out together and have a great time. And I'm especially thankful to my wife who let me come. Thank you, Laura. I hope the two-month-old is doing well at home. Um, I'm thankful for all the negative examples that the believers in my life have set me uh, so that uh, I can uh, comport myself otherwise. It's been very helpful to me, and, they, and they, they've been so obviously wrong that I couldn't have missed it. Why a blind man couldn't have missed it? Yes, yeah. anyway. So that's it. That's what I'm thankful for. Uh, my name is Lee Wood Thomas. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, I'm thankful for many things. Too long to list, but one in particular would be a job. I'm thankful I have a job in this economy. My name is Eliezer Yudkowski, and I'm glad I've been born into a world and environment where most of the unreasonable things I want, it looks like I might actually be able to get with a lot work. With, with a bit of work, or a whole lot of work, really, or an insane amount of work. But the point is, there's there's a pathway. Um, even if that pathway goes through unreasonable things like developing artificial intelligence and signing up for acronics and hoping that other people develop nanotechnology correctly if you don't develop artificial intelligence first and generally trying to remake the entire world so you can you know, live for a million years and so on. I'm glad that I'm not in, this, in the state of frustration I would expect, would expect to be with respect to not being able to make the world the way I wanted it to be that I would be in if I had been born 500 or maybe even just 50 years earlier. All right, uh, my name is Blair Scott. I'm from Huntsville, Alabama, Communications Director for American Atheists. And I am thankful that uh, a bunch of organizations exist to defend our rights and to defend the, the wall of separation between church and state and that so many people are engaged in this movement right now and more and more are joining us on a daily basis. And if you're not, I encourage you to join the movement so that you can be thankful for it as well. Hi, my name is Debbie Goddard and I'm glad that I'm not being persecuted for my beliefs, that I live in a place where there's enough freedom for us to have intellectual conversation and reasonable disagreements and sometimes angry and loud disagreements, but I don't expect to be physically assaulted or attacked for thinking differently than most people around me. My name is Zachary Moore and I'm uh, from Dallas, Texas where I'm active in the DFW Coalition of Reason. And I am thankful for uh, the ability to read and also the, the uh, privilege of being read. Uh, I'm also thankful for the ability to challenge others and to be challenged. Um, and most especially, I'm thankful for the ability to love and to be loved in return. My name is David Silverman. I'm president of American Atheists. And I'm thankful to everyone who is coming out of the closet and saying that they're an atheist. I'm thankful to everyone who's a member of American Atheists or any other atheist organization anywhere. I'm thankful to any activist who is making sure that the church and state stay separate. I am thankful to everyone who is a part of the atheist movement.